Good evening, guys, and welcome to tonight's video. <clears throat> so I want to talk tonight about calories. So it's a big one that people ask quite a lot of the time, how many calories should I eat? Now, for fat loss, for weight loss, they both require a calorie deficit. So you need to be taking in less calories than you are expending, okay, for both weight loss and fat loss. Now, the biggest thing that I need to stress about this is it is individual to each person and it will be very rare where two people have exactly the same prescription of calories as such. Now, there are many ways that you can work this out. There are equations that you can search online. There are online calculators. There are apps that you can use. And also one that I came across uh, recently, which is quite easy to work out. So I'll give you this one as well. So you can search any of those online and I'll give you a quick one as well that you can also use. So this one, basically you just take your weight in kilograms, you times it that by 24 if you're male and 22 if you're female. And then you times this by an activity factor. Now most online calculators and apps will have an activity factor built in. So they will ask you how active you are. And the important thing to remember about this and the number that I'm gonna give you now is this doesn't include intentional exercise. This is your activity level on a daily basis, i.e. your job, etc., and how you move in the day, not including exercise. So with this equation, you times by 1.2 if you are particularly sedentary. So if you have a desk job where you don't really move much, or you tend to do around five, less than 5,000 steps a day. You times by 1.4 if you get anywhere up to sort of 10,000 steps a day. And if you go any more over that, you can times it by 1.6, okay? Now, again, remember the number that this gives you does not include intentional exercise. So anything like going to the gym, going for a run, going for a walk, um, any sporting activity, etc., that you do, anything that is intentional exercise, you add on top of this number. Okay, and now this gives you a rough idea of how many calories you need a day to maintain your weight. Okay, so from here, if you want to lose weight or fat, you need to eat less than this. So then you decide your deficit, which can be basically anything that you can sustain without feeling negative effects. So some people might struggle to do more than 250 calories a day less because they for, for whatever reason, they may feel hungry or they may feel like they lack of energy. That is fine, okay? Some people may can do a 1,000 calories less a day. Again, it's the one that you can do consistently. If you are, um, you know, doing a 1,000 calories less for four days, but then you eat 3,000 calories a day over the weekend, that's not good because the net, remember, I did a video on this the other day, it's net weekly, you do not lose fat or weight on a daily basis. It is a weekly basis. So it's the, the number that you can do consistently over a weekly basis, okay? Now, one thing, again, that I need to stress is this is unique to you, okay? And your activity levels, your weight, etc. I see a lot of people who... I see 1,200 bounce around all the time. People eating 1,200, uh, regardless of all the different factors that may go into this and people also saying that you absolutely can never go below 1200 but again this is a very blanket statement because if you have a female that's for example that's um five foot and weighs 60 kilos they could be in a very reasonable deficit and be below 1200 calories so again it's it's unique to you and your situation you know if if one person exercises six hours a day and the other person exercises for one, they're going to need different amounts of calories, okay? So a blanket number doesn't work, okay? It's individual to each, people, to each person. So that's why you use these methods in order to work it out for you specifically, okay? Now, another thing I want to point out is these are rough estimates. All the equations that you use, all the calculators, the apps, and the equation that I've given you today is a rough guide. It is never going to be 100% accurate, okay? So where this comes in is you need to develop self-awareness. You need to assess how you feel, how you perform, how you look, how your weight is changing, how your inches are changing, how your clothes fit, um, 
And then you have to adjust accordingly based on this. And again, like I said, this develops huge self-awareness. And self-awareness is one of the biggest factors in whether you will maintain your weight loss. Okay, you need to, you can never be dependent on calorie counting for the rest of your life. You need to develop this self-awareness because again, it will be different for different people. Okay, so there's the video for tonight, guys. So biggest thing I want to take you from you want you to take from this is it is individual to you. So work it out for you. It, ma it does not matter how many calories other people are eating. What matters is what is the number for you specifically. So work it out for you and adjust accordingly. Okay. So that's hit calories, um, which is a big one I want to cover. And also in the next video, I'm going to be talking about macronutrients. So once we've got our calories in check, how many carbs, um, how much protein, how much fat should we eat? And I'll cover that in the next video. So hopefully you got some value from that. If you did, please feel free to like, comment and share. I always appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And I shall see you on the next video.